Good morning. It's Stella from Chadwell Coffee, and when I wake up, I tune into Good Morning Aurora. Rise and shine. Pour yourself a cup of coffee and tune in to Good Morning Aurora. News, weather, and really cool interviews. Monday through Friday from 8 to 9 a.m. time is 7.03 a.m. You're listening to Good Morning Aurora, the second largest city's first daily news podcast. And as you may be able to hear, the coffee is percolating, baby. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? I hope the same is uh, going for you in your household. I hope that you're up, doing your thing, getting ready, getting busy, and making your coffee too. It's Tuesday, March 2nd, 2021, and here are the headlines. Uh, There is a survey out from the DuPage County Health Administration uh, to understand better um, COVID-19 and the vaccine and how it's been for people who have gotten the vaccine. Uh, There's a survey link. I'll post that to you guys. Uh, It's open to friends and family, open to everybody. And the survey will be open until 4.30 p.m. on March the 7th of this year. So uh, I'll post that. Make sure that you guys see it. It's a survey monkey link. You'll see that. Click on that and then uh, give your thoughts about uh, COVID-19, the vaccine, and everything. Uh, The Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, the DCEO, will celebrate Women's Her Story Month. Her Story, not History. Her Story Month throughout March. Uh, Led by the Offices of Minority Economic Empowerment, the Regional Economic Development DCEO will celebrate women's leaders from across the state, highlighting their enduring contributions to society and emergence as trailblazers during times of crisis. Uh, So they've got some great events, actually, accessing business growth opportunities, connecting women business, excuse me, connecting women to business resources in rural Illinois. Uh, You have to register for these, but the links will be forthcoming for you guys. Supporting women's small businesses, uh, grants and resources, and empowered. So you know how there's the word empowered? Well, this is empow, H-E-R-E-D, empowered. Yes, attaining success in the face of adversity. Very cool. Very cool. So shouts out to that. All right. In other news, I've been telling you guys about the SURF grants, CERF, Coronavirus Emergency Relief Funding uh, or funds. The deadline for that is tomorrow. Close of business, 5 p.m., y'all. Get those applications in. If you are a small business in Aurora, You are eligible to apply. There are some uh, eligibility requirements. They're on the website, the link of which we posted like twice now. So just go to our page. Get your news from us. That's what you should be doing, doing, you know, like that's actually what I want you to do. But go to the Facebook page, scroll down in our post, take a look, click the link and get the application done. The application goes until tomorrow. Close of business, 5 p.m. The next Rock and Rumble is Monday the 15th, a fun music and movement program for all ages brought to us by the Aurora Public Library. The time is 10.30 a.m., not today, but on the 15th, the time will be 10.30 a.m. for the virtual Rock and Rumble, and registration is required. Sorry, I'm making sure I got the right amount of half and half, because you don't want too much, and you don't want too little. All right. And last but not least... Holy Angel School, a STEM specialty school rooted deep in faith and recognized for academic excellence. They're hosting their 15th annual Seraphim Ball fundraiser to benefit the school's in-person and remote learning program. Shout out to the teachers. A vir- excuse me, the virtual event will start on March 3rd, so tomorrow at 9 a.m. And will conclude on the 6th at 8.30 p.m. The live auction will occur on March 6th from 7 to 8 p.m. Uh, This year's theme is a toast to the teachers. The free event will provide student parents, parishioners, and local community members with a fun-filled way to celebrate and support a school committed to the spiritual formation and education of children in the Fox Valley area for over 100 years. Shouts out to Holy Angels School. All right. 
So we got a great interview for you guys today. We got, man, let me tell you something. This week is loaded with good stuff for you guys. Subscribe to the show on YouTube, Spotify, and iTunes. And stay tuned for all that we got coming up. Yesterday was the League of Women Voters Mayoral Forum, another mayoral forum. Um, Judd Lofshay and John Leish, who are the challengers, were on, as was our incumbent mayor, Richard Irvin. Uh, so I watched it last night. You know, as a good news reporter should. Did you guys watch it? And if so, what'd you think? Send us an email to goodmorningauroraIL at gmail.com or drop a line on our Facebook page. All right. And that is the news. everything out so because I'm, I'm i can create stuff you know I'm sure creative, you're you know. the creative guy yeah. and that's the important part so like i i do creative because i think i told you i have to yeah right, choice. To, right but i would much rather like give it to somebody who knows who's really passionate about it and, and that's interesting because like it's like the same like well, okay we'll put together a strategy. i can put together a strategy like, sure any of you can do that not anybody but like, not anybody put that together, not right? a good yeah. one. Well, yeah you can put together a strategy but it's like and that's what you, you know, it's, it's like the, almost the a, opposite problem. It's like, okay, we'll, we'll plan out the post, put together a strategy. I'm like, I'd rather try yeah. concrete. I don't right. want to do that. I want to, like, uh, create a video or, you know, do some kind of uh, photos or something like that versus, um, you know, trying to do all this extra analytics and all that kind of, like, Right? Nonsense. It's, like, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it's no, that's like, like the same thing I say yeah, about creative. Yeah. Like, well, I got to do, like, yeah. I got to make this work. Yeah, yeah. And right. then I'll tell you how it's going to work. And then you got to be the creative guy to, like, take this idea and make yeah. it pretty. Yeah, right. No, absolutely. <laughs> and I'm, like, the same way with you. I'm like, I tell Dave all the time. I'm like, Dave, I can, one day I'll hire you. Otherwise, I'm sitting here, right, like, yeah. hammering social yeah, media absolutely. posts. And I'm like, oh, another template. <laughs> 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 I love so I love creative. Yeah. I think it's, I mean I am a creative person, right. but like to your point, there's certain things that certain people just love, yeah. and then there's certain things that people are just like. Yes, and and like realistically, I mean, in. the funny thing is we're we're complaining about one of the greatest jobs in the universe. Right, Isn't that terrible? terrible? Like, like it's like it's like we have some of the greatest the greatest jobs. So, so yeah, some, you guys could literally be like doing sewage or something yeah, like right, in your yeah, boots. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Like, right? like, or Water see, treatment plant. Yeah. Does. I oh, find really? it really. Yeah. I oh no, I like. I, so I'm, I mean, I'm kind of a tech. I, I, I like. Well, I like the hardware. I mean, again, I'm not. Again, I'm not smart. I'm, I'm really. I, I, I'm, You're very smart. I mean, but I like the hardware. So like, I understand how to like put that together. And I think that that blends together with the, um, with like the game theater, the thing that I'm running now, is because there's a lot of hardware involved, and and um, so I find that stuff fascinating. Do yeah. you know, um, to keep up on hardware. So you've heard of the Alienware computers? Yes, yes. Okay, everybody has one of the games. Very familiar with those bad boys. They are coming out with a handheld to come back to the Switch yeah, no. called the UFO. That's pretty neat. And it is dope as everything. And here's the thing. It looks like a Switch. It has the pull-out Joy-Cons. It has a bridge where it would, it's a power pack to, to yeah, charge, yeah. even to keep your thing charged. But it plays PC games. Think of the possibilities. That's amazing. I mean, so you know, so so it's stuff like that that I've been, you know, even more so following, and uh, you know, it just and I like I like gaming. I know I get it. I'm forty some year old. I think it's freaking great. Video games, right? You yeah, know, but I, mean, I, I love it. it. Well, yeah. Right? <laughs> so, but uh, you know, so you were you were mentioning though, like um, on the uh, on the episode this morning about marketing and how you know. There's like bad marketers out there. Yeah. Tell me some of those experiences, like, like that you've really run into. Well, I think the the worst is, and I think you've probably come across it too, are the people who just come across and they're like, oh yeah, we're just gonna do this and we're gonna do this and we're gonna do this, but there's no substance behind it. It's like they always think that they have this brainiac idea, and you're like, okay, that's a great idea, but like, how is that going to? How is the process gonna flow? And then that's where they get caught up, and you're just like, you don't know. Right. Like you have no idea how this is going to do well for me. Right. So like I was go back to the PR business. Like I said, I hate to throw them under the bus, yeah, yeah. but they weren't nice to my boss. And mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I don't I don't play those games. Like you want to do your job and you want to run a business and do it. 
but do it ethically and make sure you're doing the right thing for the business owner. If, if a business owner comes to you and says, I've been paying all this money per month and I don't feel I've gotten the value, as a company, as a corporation, you should say, let me make that right. I am very sorry that we didn't give you the love that you had anticipated. Right. You know, here's what we planned on doing, right? Um, you know, because basically we came to him and said, yeah, you said you had us up on all of these directories, but I never got a phone call. I never got a, a referral from it. I've been up on it for two years. I mean, it was like yeah. two years or something he had already. So I know that takes time, but two years, you should be getting something out of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So how do you, I, that's one thing I've always wondered. So, you, you know, that's the greatest marketers, like, vain, right? Yeah. It is like, um, is that, um, okay, so you put up all these posts on the social. Yeah. And you get, a, you know, a bunch of likes. And I, I get that all the time. How do we translate that into to sales or product? And, you know, I'm honest with them. I'm like, I don't know. Like, I mean, like, I mean, like, like, I mean, like, you know, like, yeah. and, and by the way, that's not a popular thing to say. I don't know. Because nobody wants it's to not, not know, right? Like, yeah. I'm like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I, I just, here's the strategy. Here's the brand. Here's the creative. And this is what Go. we're going to do. You know, yeah, like, yeah. Like, it's like, like, okay. Like, you know, it's such a, yeah. it's kind of a gamble. And how do you track, how do you track that? And I don't, I don't, if I'm asking you to release the secret sauce of the universe here. It's no secret know, sauce. Yeah. Honestly, it's all about being real. I think a lot of people get caught up in the unrealistic process. Like, if you do this process, it's going to work. Well, no, that's not true. <laughs> like, so how do you translate social media and Google yeah. and all this traffic into dollars? Well, it's your call to action, for one. It's getting close to your customer, for two. And the third one is it's A-B testing. you got to test the stuff out. you got to pull and say, okay, I am going to, right, like, here's an example. Right now, my current client is running, so he does both sides of the fence he helps individual medicare so he was super inundated between september and december doing open enrollment for his individual clients so as far as small businesses he didn't touch them we didn't market to them we did nothing so then we shifted all of our marketing over to the small business well what are we trying to get out of the small business right so that's the first thing somebody has to think of we're going to target small businesses but what do we want them to do how do we want them to interact with us now you formulate a plan okay so mark and i decided we don't really care about leads at this point. We're going to purchase some. We have a company. We're actually going to go with business.com. I'll throw them some like love because I've worked with I've worked with them in corporate environments and now I'm working with them on a smaller scale and they're very good. They're just a fantastic company. Okay. So we're going to purchase those and we have some other marketing plans, but we're going to take all these videos that we make and we're just trying to Mark's been in business for 36 years, so he just wants to give the small up. business information. Okay. All he wants is to brand himself. I really know a lot about this, and this is what I want to do. So, again, we're not looking for that bottom dollar. So if you're not looking for the bottom dollar, if you're not looking to convert it into dollars, it's not going to convert into dollars. We're converting it on other aspects. But the great thing about the videos and the social media and the email and all of this buzz that we create with this is that when a small business, when we do have a conversation with a small business, and we sit down, he's already seen us on Facebook, he's already seen us on LinkedIn, he's already read our email, because we've added him to our email audience blast, he's definitely visited our website, and I'm sure he checked out the blogs. So it's not so much, did this you know, video create revenue dollars, you gotta look at, did your customer, did you convert? because of the videos and the efforts that you put behind the social media. So that's kind of where you kind of flip in the switch, right? What are you trying to do? Is it going to do what you're asking it to do? Like videos are not gonna turn into dollars unless you have production and you have budgets to put it out there in ads, you know, you're really competing in a heavy space. So then you have to decide, well, what am I gonna do with these great assets? My boss loves doing them. My client loves making these videos. He's good at it. So how do I turn that into dollars? Well, this is how I'm gonna turn it into dollars. It's gonna be on every email, it's gonna be put all over social media, we have a YouTube channel, and when I talk to business owners, I'm gonna say, check out our blog. You wanna know about the changes that Biden has coming for the Affordable Care Act? I did a blog about it, go check it out. Um, you know, if you're confused about employee benefits, go check out Mark's video. And if you don't want to watch a video, I wrote a blog about it. So you can tap into any market. You can learn about MLD. You can learn about my company by all these different outlets. So you see how it's 
playing all in the same environment and now you know how you're turning it into dollars it's a little harder to kind of show the uh, you know the attribution so would you say that's like the classic marketing strategy where it's like seven points of contact before you flip a customer into you you because I mean you, you talked about the blog the video yep. the this the that the whatever that I, I feel like that's a very classic like format and for you know you know the the, the, the doggy daycare place or the you know uh, um, you know whatever the uh, even myself with the the game theater like yeah I mean, that I just, like you just overwhelmed me like okay so I'm gonna make five or six pieces of content. So I'm gonna have a blog, and have a, yeah, yeah. And, and that's I think where a lot of small business guys and gals, they kind of like. Oh, you can't God. do it. Yeah. You can't. It, it, you just it's, literally. It's, I'm struggling doing it for Mark because I'm one person right. and I'm part time. Yeah. So that's where, as a small business owner, and so that's like I work with another client. So Mark is more on a larger scale. We're doing a multi-channel marketing platform that works for him. He's okay. an older gentleman. He's been around for 36 years. So yeah. that is what really drives the business because all of his business comes from referrals. Right. So we have to be out there for his customers to see us in order for them to refer. Another client I have is totally different. All right, tell me He's smaller, right? So uh, He's I have an two. Upstart, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? He's an upstart. You know, it's, 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 yeah. It's, it's, it's easy. But you know, that's like him. He has a small budget. Yeah. Uh, he wants to create leads. He doesn't want to pay for them. He doesn't want to buy lists. I get it. I don't like to buy lists either. I think it's terrible. So, well, okay. Well, what works? Where's your biggest presence? Where do you like playing? Right? He loves LinkedIn. So he's on a Ulink platform, which Ulink is, is I don't know, I think. Is that their paid, paid subscription, LinkedIn? Yeah, yeah. No, LinkedIn isn't paid. He no, isn't. I mean, LinkedIn has a paid. Yeah, he does component. sales. Yeah. So, he, like, I, I didn't know if that was their paid version. Oh, no, Ulink. So here, I'll explain. So their Sales Navigator, Sales Navigator is their paid service, okay, right? So he had Sales Navigator. He built this huge LinkedIn network. Huge LinkedIn network, which is fantastic. And he's like, but I'm not getting any clients out of it. That, that's okay. That, you know, that's like, the crux right there. Like, there like you, you go. You build these big client, like you, you, everybody loves you. Like, oh, I love your stuff, whatever. You're gorgeous. Yeah. And then you're like, I know he's buying anything. Well, I asked him, I said, well, have you marketed to them? He's like, well, yeah, I put posts up. I was like, well, so do you. And so do 10,000 other people in your network. So you have 10,000 connections. You're putting out posts. And so are those 10,000 other humans, right? Right. So what are you doing? What are you doing to actually speak to that specific individual? Have you looked at those 10,000 people and found out who you can market to and who you can't market to? He had no idea. So it's like, so out of those 10,000 people, we found out that he can only market to 2,000 of them because he only has a license in Illinois. So why is he going to market to people outside of the Illinois borders? Doesn't so, make sense. So, well, well, it could be argued um, that, uh, so you got 10,000 people. Yeah. Um, and, and let's say 2,000 of them is, uh, is Illinois. So what is that? What's that? 8,000 left? Yeah. Okay. So those 8,000 people, they may have a friend in Illinois and be like, oh, I just saw a post. I mean, right? I mean, that's... I, oh, yeah. I, you know, so, I mean, you know... But those are... Are those... Uh, is that a far stretch? I mean, you know, or you think, or as a, as a marketer, or... I think it's a far stretch okay. because the further you go from your goal, okay. the further you're going to get traction now don't get me wrong right we all know that like something small can turn into something huge right, right? right we know that somebody can post something on youtube today and it could turn into something that's all over fox news tomorrow baby shark what's that baby, baby shark. shark remember yes, that yes. baby oh. shark yeah what's dude that? Oh, what? how did i miss that one so, oh, you, you, you didn't it's it. just not coming to you you were at, uh, google it okay so, oh, oh so baby, if i google i'll know what it is you remember oh, baby Shark, 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 go, baby, shark, 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 shark. Wait. People were like stopping their car doors and like doing the dance and then no. jumping back in. It, it's the most obnoxious. And I, I must have missed Since it. you brought this up, so. so <laughs> How uh, did I miss uh, that one? This is Curtis, our producer today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but since you brought that up, just a little side note. I watched, you're at the Kennedy, um, Kennedy School of Arts in Washington, D.C., class, eighth grade class or whatever. Playing for the president of the United States, and I, I want to say it was Obama at the time. I'm not sure. What would you play for the president of the United States? Oh, that's funny. What would I you think, What would you sing to the president? I don't know. I think it would depend on the president, right? Yeah, I think right. you sing something different to Obama than you would yeah, Trump through two but different I mean, yeah, guys. But I mean, right. you sing, sing something like I mean, just just any. Give me a, give me a song. Oh jeez. Well, would you try to try? I don't know. What? I'm an old person, so I'd You're probably go with something patriotic, right? Yeah, patriotic. Maybe God Bless America, yeah. maybe something of that nature. No, 
they decided to do Baby Shark. Oh, no, they didn't. They did. Baby Shark. And I'm like, oh. how old are they? Eighth this grade. is like eighth or ninth grade. Eighth how old are you in eighth grade? Like like mm, 11 14? or something. Or, no, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, 14 maybe. I don't know. I mean, oh, well, my kid's 11, so he's in sixth, uh, fifth grade, so. I didn't, know, I didn't know there was going to be math in this conversation. Yeah, right. Uh, that's that's it. It. I have Excel sheets <laughs> for the math <laughs> exactly. stuff. So, so, I mean, like, this, I don't know, so like, Right, I'd make a like, formula for that. Mm. <laughs> they, were like, <laughs> they were so proud that we be some baby shark. Like, we we're so progressive. I'm like... You're so progressive. Wow. I don't know. Like, maybe do Hamilton or something. Like, Honestly, I mean, like, like, if you did Beyonce, it would have had right? a better I mean, statement. Because like, yeah. at least she's somebody like who people look up to. Right. I don't know what this whole baby shark is. I oh, missed yeah, it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I missed it. Oh, it's, it's, I mean, it's, yeah. It's, I mean, once it gets in your head, too. Oh, um, no. uh, you, you wrecked my day. Thanks, Curtis. Well, that's a good place to end because we're like coming up on 15 seconds. Yeah. And I ruined it with baby shark. However, I learned a very good deal from this conversation. The first thing I learned is that marketing is effective. The second thing I learned, effective marketing can be effective. Yeah. The second thing I learned is that just because you put something out there does not mean it will convert to anything. Yeah. And the third thing I learned is that I'm great as a camera guy, you'll see in this video, but I suck with topics. So. Ah! I am going to end on my baby shark shit, and we have Bob Lockwood and Michelle Davalis here, and this is a great conversation. I think we'll call this one Riffin'. Peace. <laughs> Thank you. That's great.